All right, so our next item to tackle is going to be entering any PayPal transaction fees into your Shopify seller spreadsheet right here on this peach row. We're going to enter that directly on the monthly summary tab. And I know a lot of pay, uh, a lot of Shopify sellers offer PayPal as another method for checkout for their customers. So I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way to figure out the fees that you are paying to PayPal each month. So you log into your PayPal account. This is only going to work for business PayPal accounts because the reporting capabilities are different for a business versus a personal account. You want to navigate to activity and then click on all reports. And then under statements, click monthly. And then you just want to download the PDF report of whatever month you're doing your books for. Sometimes you may have to hit request if you haven't already requested that report in the past, which you probably haven't. Um, and after a few minutes, the request will turn into download, but I'm just gonna download this one as an example. And it's going to open this handy little PDF uh, file with some different info. And now on page two, we can see our PayPal fees for the month. It's going to be on this row called fees. And I had $27.15 of PayPal fees. So I'm going to enter that right here on my spreadsheet. Remember, I don't need to enter my expenses and negatives. Spreadsheet knows to subtract. So I've got $27.15 for August PayPal fees entered in the peach row of my seller spreadsheet. Now I wanna mention something about PayPal and those fees real quick, just so that we don't get confused. Um, those are your total fees for PayPal for the month. So if you are only using PayPal to accept payments on Shopify, then those fees are going to be everything taken out of those Shopify payments processed via PayPal. However, um, you might sell in multiple places, not just Shopify. You might invoice customers directly via PayPal or use PayPal on Etsy, Amazon, uh, a standalone website. Basically, my point is that if you use PayPal for any other sales venues or to accept payments independently, then those fees are going to be covered by that fee total as well. So just make sure if you're um, later on going into more expenses for the month, your PayPal fee amount that you just entered covers all those sales venues. Okay, it's not just Shopify if you sell elsewhere. And when you're hanging around your PayPal account, looking at this report, um, you also might want to check it out for some other helpful expenses or sales that you need to enter in your Shopify seller spreadsheet later on. So the remaining pages of this report, they're going to have some helpful info for you. They're going to show you a transaction by transaction list of all the things you use your PayPal account for. So you might have some business purchases in here that you want to enter in the appropriate place on your spreadsheet, probably on one of these expense tabs, and we'll cover how to do that next. Um, you might buy shipping labels or pay for postage via PayPal. In that case, the, um, you can look for any transactions where the description says U.S. Post Office, and you can enter those on the postage tab of your spreadsheet. And you might even have, like I mentioned, some sales from non-Shopify sources showing up on this report. And remember, um, if you have imported your Shopify sales already, you're going to see those Shopify sales showing up here again. So don't enter them twice. You want to go through this report and just look for non-Shopify sales that you haven't already entered, okay? So that pretty much covers how to enter your PayPal fees, and what report you can use to enter the rest of your PayPal transactions if you have any. You can check out the next video to see how to enter your expense receipts in these expense category tabs.